There's, a, there's another concept that I saw put forward by this guy, John Paul Lederach. He's a professor at Notre Dame, which he calls critical yeast. So we've got critical mass. Now, critical yeast, um, if we think about bread, we think the flour is, is well, probably 90%, if not more, of the mass of it. Um, then you have the yeast. The yeast is typically a, a tiny little cup that you put in there. Um, and the thing about yeast that is, that is powerful and, and that makes it all work is that yeast distributes and then it rises. So while yeast is this tiny percentage of the overall mass, it affects, it affects the whole. It changes the structure of the whole. So in terms of think, starting to think about critical yeast in terms of social change, um, this is the effect where we are where we are connected to networks of people across lines of difference so that we as a single individual or as single individuals are connected to people from all these different circles issues movements walks of life socioeconomic class different countries now no no one person is doing all of this but if you were to map it you say okay this person is connected to all these so some people call them outliers or bridge builders or web weavers yeah um, some people are just naturally inclined towards that you know exploring and reaching out to different folks so if you were to map it and see their reach and then the reach of all those people similar to kind of Facebook friends in that way some people um, you know have a very eclectic and diverse group of Facebook friends. If we were to map that, we'd see that they cover, even though there are a few people, we could look at 15 people and see, let's say, 10,000 other folks, and they cover the bases, you know, where that creates an entire web that's very diverse and comprehensive. So one person can have tremendous reach. And therefore, when there's a moment for change, when there's an issue that's being worked on, they can help with the information gathering, with the educational processes, right, that pull more people into the movement, and they, that therefore can help lead to a critical mass moment. So th this is a, something that's helpful for me because I like to think about metaphors. It's helpful for me to have the stuff of like real imagery. If you're making bread and you put the yeast in and you don't stir it up and then you add the water, you get a really salty, gross cl clump in the middle. It doesn't rise. So we may have many connections you know, but they will be in a, in a really kind of similar group of folks. Yeah, similar backgrounds, histories. And, and, and to me, that's kind of like clumping in that way. So, so part of the kind of uh, mechanisms or processes of, of kind of a critical yeast effect of social change, I think, is in that being able to identify how to reach out across lines of difference, people who are naturally doing that, and, and to sort of um, find these spaces and ways for people to come together around issues and for everybody to then be able to lift. So you can have a small distributive group of people working together, and then you have social change as it, as it rises, and they therefore activate their networks. And that's critical. Yeast, I think it's really timely. And if we think about nonviolent social change and we think about Gandhi um, for example we, he was writing letters to Tolstoy in Russia and you know we're talking about months for communication to take place or in the civil rights movement people gathering in churches and then and then going out from there so when we technology is not a magic fix we still have to do the real work of building relationships, but when we think about something like Facebook and Facebook friends and our ability to network and move, and then we think about issues like global climate change or like the, the increasing gap between rich and poor on a global scale, now we have this, this possibility for global movements, which I think is powerful, and, and that, that we need critical yeast in that sense to, to kind of be able to unite and have solidarity with people who share, we all share a common planet and, and a common humanity. Um, so I think we're in a powerful place.